Okay, welcome back. Uh, in this tutorial 1B, Hello Reaper, audio device settings, we're gonna talk about an audio device. Now, what is an audio device? An audio device performs analog to digital and digital to analog conversion. So every uh, digital device you own or you could think of that is capable of playing sound has a built-in sound card or an audio device that performs either digital to analog conversion. So that's the case when you listen to uh, sound through loudspeakers or through headphones. And the analog to digital conversion would be the opposite. Uh, for example, in your handy, in your cell phone, there is, a, of course, also analog to digital conversion. Without that, you would not be able to speak into the phone when you do a phone call. In Reaper, we have our settings, as you already know, pressing command comma. You get to the Reaper preferences and uh, there's the audio device settings. And here, as we are on a Mac laptop, on a Mac notebook, we see MacBook Pro Lautsprecher. So that's the loudspeakers. Uh, if I play the sound now, the, the sound would come out of the loudspeakers. If I want to hook up a headphone, I would choose the headphone, which is obviously not available at the moment. Why? Because there is no headphone inserted. I will not do this now, but you, you're going to see an external uh, headphone uh, as a new uh, device available in the audio devices. Now what I would like to show you quickly is this here. That's also an audio device. You will get to know this one uh, in detail in one of the tutorials, tutorial 4 I think. We see there is professional XLR inputs. There is a uh, metering and there is a USB connection. So when I connect it now with my laptop, which I'm going to do now, let's see, we already have power and we don't want, we don't need this screen. Now, if I go back to my audio devices, I don't see anything yet. I will cancel it, go back in, and then I see my new audio device, which you will be using when you do the tutorial for recording your own voice in the studio. If I may ask a little question. Yes. I also see a display port in your list. Uh, of course, that's another... Uh, capable audio device. As soon as you have hooked up something via display port, which is the same as HDMI, then uh, you have the HDMI signal, which is capable of transporting up to eight audio channels. And usually uh, when I teach in the studio, I use the display port audio device to hook up Reaper to the big screen via a HDMI connection. Oh, that's very nice. So that can transport audio as well over HDMI. Exactly, then. exactly. So many, many protocols are capable of transporting audio. Uh, for you at the moment, it's important to know how I get sound out of my uh, Reaper uh, by either uh, uh, choosing the, the MacBook Pro loudspeakers or the external headphones to play back your audio. Okay, so let so me see. That, that means that if I plug in an HDMI plug and I don't hear anything, then it's probably because something is wrong there. Completely yes. right. So then I need to go back into my audio device settings and choose display port. It's the same when you hook up your your uh, your laptop, for example, in a classroom. There is always uh, a beamer. 
the beamer is connected via uh, HDMI, meaning uh, sometimes it does it automatically. You have sound automatically out of the out of the loudspeakers in the classroom. If not, you have to go into the audio MIDI. Uh, let's see audio audio MIDI setup. And there is of course again the display port, which you can choose by pressing control and then use device for sound output. So that's maybe almost everything I want to tell you about the audio device. One thing uh, I would love to tell you is one more thing about the sample rate. What is the sample rate? Sample rate means my signal is sampled 48,000 times in one second and it's the, the reproduction of the analog sound wave in the digital domain. So this means you get 48,000 samples reproducing the sound wave that you have been, for example, talking. The last thing is the so-called block size, which is the buffer. This buffer decides how much time your computer gets to uh, compute all the requests that the software is sending to the CPU. So when you have a bigger block size, computer gets more time, meaning uh, you, can, you can compute more uh, uh, commands in this time. So if your computer hiccups, if you have problems playing back your, your audio, then it's probably best if you choose a bigger block size. Thanks a lot. We'll see each other again in tutorial 1C, which will be Hello Reaper, inserting audio, audio playback and loop settings. Thanks a lot.